ni baraka sana sana kuona wewe kanisani kuna watu wako na tabia ya kukosa kanisa na si vizuri hii ni tabia ambayo si vizuri lakini wewe na washukuru wote ambao umekuja god bless you tell your neighbor bishop is very happy to see you hallelujah i'm very happy to see you i really thank god hallelujah amen amen Ninashukuru tena kupata watu wawili ambao wamekuja. One of them is uh, our son Steve ametokea ame, ame, ame kule UK. Amekuja. Si akuja tusalimu kidogo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. 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 Padia yes. Mike ongee asalimie sisi. We appreciate you coming Steve and we thank God for you we pray for you always and we thank God that you have kept the faith in Jesus name Amen Praise the Lord Amen Praise the Lord again Amen Praise the Lord Amen My name is Steve and I love the Lord and I'm saved I I take honor in saying that because on that other side people don't say they're saved People hide in the corners because they don't want people to know that they're Christians but i can say today that i'm glad to be in the house of the lord and i'm really happy to see all of you i i just came recently just to visit all of you and i'm happy that you're here i'm happy that i've seen new faces i've seen old faces and i'm glad that you're keeping the faith so god bless you so much amen god bless you steve god bless you steve amen we also are blessed to have our, one of our uh, nephews who is also a pastor uh, David come and greet us in Jesus name uh, let us appreciate him let us appreciate him also give him a mic adu salimu katika jina la Yesu we appreciate you are coming amen praise the lord amen hallelujah amen my name is David Motoa and i love god he has saved me amen amen i think uh, i was here last uh, day of conference amen and i have planned today and i said i shall come and worship together amen amen thank you god bless you amen god bless you amen amen the worshipers are looking nice is it are they looking nice amen and they have not, we have not sung you know they were coming to sing and uh, so i'm going to share a word of the lord shortly then i'm going to welcome them so that we can come and sing nataka tuimbe wimbo mwingine wa kumchezea bwana hallelujah sisi si watu wa maandamano lakini tunaruka arurushi mawe lakini tunarusha ya kiroho bwana asifiwe Hallelujah. And we want to jump and celebrate our God. Can we appreciate the worshipers as they take their seats in Jesus name? Amen. We can be seated shortly by the grace of God as we share the word of the Lord shortly uh, this afternoon by the grace of God. Uh on the when is on Thursday. Andika mahali on Thursday in the morning. We shall be going to the prayer mountain. Yeah, we shall be going to the prayer mountain. This time not to pray, but to for an issue which is there. So please I want us to get at least 20 people who will accompany bishop to the mountain. So if you are there, please make sure you give your name to uh, sister Anna. Uh, Anna is our evangelist. She's here at the corner. Anna you need to stand. Yes. So that you give your name. Nataka kwenda hapo kuna watu ambao wamekutaka kuja na survey yao and they feel that we want also to be there to show them our land as well. Are you going to be there to show them your land? So please let us be there in Jesus name on Thursday. On Thursday, we want to go there and be able to be in time and the Lord will bless us. We are also building the prayer center. We have three things. We have two things that we are doing and we want money by the grace of God. We are still 
committing our, we know we began build, buying the, the church bus last year. We are still continuing to buy. So please, we have some money and we are looking for more money. So the Lord God will give you grace to give us money. You have 100,000, you have 200,000, you have 50,000, 20,000, 500. We not need all of it to buy the church bus by the grace of God. And we are also going to build the center. The next conference will be there. And we are believing God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I want to share something very important and very blessing to my heart. And it is something that is a blessing. And I pray that the Lord God will cause you to connect with this word. And that you shall become this word. Hallelujah. I am speaking about becoming the vessel of God's grace. Becoming a vessel of God's grace. Becoming a vessel. I am speaking about the grace to fulfill our purpose and our calling. I will be trusting the Lord that I will be very brief. And I will be able to share this word. And it's my prayer that this word will get into your life. And it's my prayer that the Lord will transform you. Father God, in Jesus' name, I speak word. Lord, bless your word. Anoint your word. Let your word come to our hearts, our minds, in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let your word, Lord, transform us. Let your word speak to us, Lord. That, Father, we will become vessels of God's grace. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Say amen. God wants to extend his grace to humanity and to his work. God want to extend his grace to humanity and to his work. It's important to understand that God is gracious God. God is a gracious God. God is a merciful and a gracious God. That even in this wicked world, that God wants to extend his grace in this, this, this uh, generation. God wants also to extend his grace to the next generation. And the next generation. And the next generation. Praise God. How many people know that God still wants to extend his, gener his grace to the next generation? Hallelujah. I know you are not happy with the, with the current generation. I know you are not happy, like Steve has said, with the people in the Western world. But God still wants to extend his grace to them. Hallelujah. God wants to extend his grace even to the, the worst of the worst. God wants to extend his grace to humanity. And to his work. Even at a time like this when things are so difficult and evil. God wants to extend his grace. God wants to extend his grace to your family members. Hallelujah. Even those who are so bad. God wants to extend his grace to them. Hallelujah. God wants to extend his grace to the primary schools. And the secondary schools. And the universities. God wants to extend his grace. Hallelujah. God wants to extend his grace to the lawyers and engineers. God wants to extend his grace. Hallelujah. And it's important as we sit here to understand that the grace of God that we have experienced is not only for us, 
that God wants to extend that grace to others. I want to say in salvation, and you can write in salvation, we have connected to the grace of God. In salvation, we have connected to the grace of God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. We are a work of grace ourselves. We are a work of grace of God. Hallelujah. Our salvation. God has bathed us in his grace. God bathed us in his grace. Hallelujah. Singer sang and said, Nikwa neema na neema. Nikwa neema na neema. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are products of the grace of God. We are products of the grace of God. Amen. Tell your neighbor you are a product of the grace of God. Hallelujah. Our being here as a ministry, this is a, this eternity gospel and ministry is a grace of God. Is a grace of God. And that's why I say we are products. The Bible says we are saved by grace. By grace. Hallelujah. Ephesians 2, 8. Our salvation is a product of grace of God. Our, our salvation is a product of the grace of God. Even those who came to preach to us were vessels of grace of God. They came as vessels of the grace of God. And they connected us to the grace of God. God used grace to connect us to grace. Hallelujah. And that's why it says, those who raised us, who discipled us, Amen. Who are vessels of grace. Hallelujah. Who God used, God used men and women of grace to connect us to the grace. Hallelujah. It is important to understand that for by grace, for by grace, say, so say, for by grace, you are saved through faith. For by grace, for the, for by grace, you are saved through faith. Our salvation is a product of grace, grace and grace. Jesus coming with the grace. Connecting his disciples with the grace. Other people received the grace. They took the grace. They became vessels of grace. And then over 2,000 years, the grace still continued to flow until the grace found us in our villages, which had no grace, but it connected us to the grace of God. And we found grace. Hallelujah. And that's why they sing a song. That it is an amazing grace. Hallelujah. It is an amazing grace. Hallelujah. He sang and said, I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see the grace of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's very interesting that most of the letters of Apostle Paul 
He began his letters with the grace and the peace to you from God, our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look at, look at Romans 1, 7. That's how he began his writing. All his writing. And I pray that our writings will become the same. That we can begin our writings. That we can begin our story. Hallelujah. By the grace. Hallelujah. Because we are a product of this. Hallelujah. To verse, chapter 1, verse 7 of Romans. To all that are being Rome, beloved of God. Beloved of God. Isn't it? Isn't it? Called to be what? Saints. Hallelujah. Grace to you and the peace from God, our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Grace. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1.1. 1, 1. What does he say again? Ephesians 1.1. 1, 1. He's beginning his letters. Grace and peace and grace. Grace and peace. Grace and peace. Hallelujah. Ephesians 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God. To the saints. Hallelujah. To who are the saints which are in Ephesus. And to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Verse 2. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father. From the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 3. It says he talks about verse 1 and 2. Yes, verse 1 and 2. He's speaking about the blessings and the, 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 the grace of God. God is the instigator of grace. And it is from him that all other grace flows from. God shows, God shows both grace, both mercy and grace. But they are not the same. Mercy and grace are not the same. Mercy withholds judgment, withholds punishment we deserve. Mercy, mercy withholds punishment we deserve. Grace gives us a blessing we don't deserve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mercy withholds what? Punishment we deserve. And grace gives us what? Blessings we don't deserve. Blessings we don't deserve. Hallelujah. Now I'm talking about becoming a vessel, vessels of, of grace. Hallelujah. God's grace. In mercy, God chose to cancel our sins, our debts, by sacrificing his perfect son in our place. Hallelujah. In mercy, in mercy, God chose to do what? To cancel our sin debt by sacrificing his perfect son in our place. But he goes even further than the mercy and extends the grace to his enemies. He extends his grace to his enemies. Romans 5, 10, what does this? He extends his grace to his enemies. Romans 5, hallelujah. 5 8. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Hallelujah. He extended his he extended his grace to his enemies. Verse 10. For if when we were sea enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. So look at this. God extended his grace to his enemies and he offered us forgiveness. 
Number two, he offered us reconciliation. He offered us John 10.10 10, that he offered us eternal life. He offered us eternal treasure. He offered us his Holy Spirit. Imagine, the people who are enemies of God, God extended his grace. Extended his grace. And that's why I began by saying, God wants to extend his grace. Thank you, Lord. Tell your neighbor, God wants to extend his grace to your neighbor as well. You know, many people think that, that they should receive the grace of God, but not their neighbor. But I want to tell you that even God wants to extend his grace to your neighbor. Hallelujah. God wants to extend his grace even to your enemies. God wants to extend his grace. Hallelujah. God wants to extend his grace to the people of Karen. That's why he sent us here. That he may extend his grace. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. As I took time to look at this subject, I was amazed by the book of Exodus. I want us to turn to the book of Exodus to see the grace of God. The grace of God. One man, one man who received the grace of God. His name was Moses. He received the grace of God in the book of Exodus. And Moses, and we are not different than Moses ourselves. We are not different than Moses. Chapter 2 of Exodus, we see a man that received the grace of God. Hallelujah. Look at chapter 1. Look at chapter 1 of Exodus. Look at chapter 1 of Exodus. Hallelujah. We begin chapter 1, verse 21. Chapter 1, verse 21. We begin there, Exodus. And it came to pass, because the midwives feared God, that he made them houses. And Pharaoh charged all his people, saying, Every son that is born you shall cast in the river. And every daughter you shall save alive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 16, chapter 1, verse 16. And Pharaoh, and he said to when you do the office of the midwife to the Hebrew women, and you see them upon, sit upon, if they are on the stool, if it be son, you shall kill him. But if it is our daughter, you shall, he shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not, as, did not do as the king may command them. Hallelujah. Verse chapter 2. We are seeing in a situation, in a time, in a season, when the sons were being killed at a time, when the sons were not supposed to leave. Hallelujah. That the, the, the sons of the Jewish people were supposed to be killed. It was a law. It had been passed. And it was mandated. And a season like this, Bible chapter 2 says, And there went a, a man of the house of Levi and took a wife, a daughter of Levi. And the woman conceived. And unfortunately, <laughs> say unfortunately. Hallelujah. She be a what? She be a son. And when he saw him that he was a godly, a goodly child, she hid him three months. And when she could not longer hid him, she took for him an ark of rushes, wrapped it with the slime, 
went with the pitch and put the child therein, laid it in the flags by the river bricks. Hallelujah. This is Moses. This is Moses. Moses. This is Moses. You, you see, you see Moses. Moses is a product of grace. It's a product of the grace of God. Hallelujah. The bathing of Moses is grace. Hallelujah. Moses got born again the wrong time. When the, when the, when the sons are being killed is when he appeared. Just like some of us were born in families where the ancestors had declared that the, the sons would be destroyed by alcohol and immorality. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the mother of Moses, Moses found grace. Moses found grace. Hallelujah. The first place he found grace was oh, the mother. He found grace. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor it's good to find up mothers. Hallelujah. In the house. So you can find grace. Hallelujah. He found grace. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says the mother. Hakamu chukua. Hakamu ficha. You know they were supposed to be. They were supposed to be killed. Hallelujah. You know some of you. You have lived beyond your death. Is it? Some of you are supposed to be killed at the point of your death birth. Hallelujah. But you have found grace. Hallelujah. Moses, he was supposed to be thrown in the river. But he was kept by the riverside. In the same river where other sons were being killed, it was the same place where Moses found life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Mama kamuficha bakasema akiishi ni Mungu. Akikufa ni sawa. Mimi nimefanya yangu. Hallelujah. Mimi nimefanya mimi kama mama nimefanya. Bwana asifiwe. Mama akamwombea. Akasema Mungu awe nawe. Hallelujah. Akaenda akakaambia the, the daughter, the sister, the, 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 the daughter Miriam. Miriam weka hapo tu ukiangalia najua. Hallelujah. I know. Hallelujah. I don't know what to do with the son. I've given birth wrong, to the wrong gender. Instead of giving birth to the daughter, the daughter, I've given birth to the wrong one who is not needed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Sons were not needed by Pharaoh, but they were needed by God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, that in that place, in that place, the daughter, hey, oh, thank you. Lift your hands like this. The killers, say the killers, became the keepers. The killers became what? That is what grace does. Hallelujah. You see, this is the same guys who had say the sons of the Jews should be what? Should be killed. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, grace, grace can make you a killer to keep you. Hallelujah. You know, the grace of God. I have told you if there's anybody who saw the grace of God, it's Moses. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the same river where they were being thrown, and the killers who came. Hallelujah. Hey, thank you, Jesus. And the killers had no sons. And the killers decided that they are going to adopt the son. Glory to God. That is what grace is. A, is a, the grace is the spirit of adoption. Praise the name of Jesus. The people, this is salvation. This is grace of God. When the Bible says Moses was raised in the palace. 
the man, the boy who was supposed to die, became a son of the Pharaoh. He became the son of the Pharaoh. He became the son of the Pharaoh's daughter. The people were supposed to kill him. The man grew, grew in the palace. Hallelujah. Wow, hallelujah. This is grace. Hallelujah. Moses received the grace. Yes, chapter 2 is Moses receiving the grace. Chapter 3 is Moses becoming the vessel of what? Grace. Chapter 2 is what? Moses receiving what? The grace. Chapter 3 is Moses becoming a vessel of what? Grace. But if I, have, I don't do anything, you have finished my message. Hallelujah, I can see it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Bible says Moses, Moses was educated without the money of his father and mother. School fees was paid by the state. Hallelujah. Moses was carried by horses. Hallelujah. Moses ate the food of the king from the river. Hey, from, from, from the river where he was abandoned for death. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Some of us were the same. We were thrown in the side of the river. We were abandoned. We were subject of death. We were like the man that was found by on the on a Jericho road. In the, the Bible says, and the good Samaritan, he found him and he took him in. He deserved to die. But he was hosted. The grace of God. One else was if you were. The boy. The boy who was disdained to death. The killers who are killing other boys became his parents. Hallelujah. What else was if you Moses experienced the grace of God. Kama kuna mutu haliona the grace of God. The Bible says in the book of, uh, in the book of uh, Genesis chapter 8 verse 6, and then Noah found grace. Found Christ. Hey, let me, you know, I was thinking about that. You know, Noah built the ark for 120 years. And then I understood why Noah built it for 120. <laughs> it's the grace he received. You cannot, you cannot build an ark for 120 years without grace. Hallelujah. He became. And this is Moses now. Hallelujah. Moses could inspect the gods. As a son, he became respected. The grace promoted him. They gave, the grace gave him status. Tell your neighbor status. Hallelujah. Grace will give you status. Hallelujah. The Bible says, once we were nobody, but now we are the children of God. Hallelujah. Once we had not obtained mercy, but now we have obtained mercy. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Moses ate the food, the best food. Went to the best schools. Hallelujah. I cover the best clothes. Hallelujah. One else was if you were. Can you lift your hands like this? Moses was raised by his own mother. The mother was also brought in by Miriam. Thank God for Miriam. He brought the mother inside. Hallelujah. So Moses was raised by his mother in the palace funded by, funded by Pharaoh. Hallelujah. The Pharaoh funded the project. That's why I always tell them, when the grace is there, the devil funds the project of God. Hallelujah. Moses was a project of God. Tell your neighbor, you are a project of grace. You are a project of grace. Hallelujah. God invested his grace in Moses' life. Moses did not understand, why have you been so good to me, Lord? Huh? 
Nikutende nini bwana? Eh? Yaani akaimba, what can I do to you God? You have been so good to me. Moses used to sing that song. God, you have been so good to me. I cannot understand when all other boys have been swallowed by river Nile. When everybody has been killed, me I found favor and I am not even found favor to leave. I live in the in the state house. I got the best schools because of the grace of God. Let me tell you, when God's hand is upon you, he will raise you up. He will glorify you and he will lift you up. He will position you. Hallelujah. The grace of God is capable the grace of god is capable hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe amen you don't need when the grace is there hallelujah you don't need your tall angle you don't need your 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 tall politician the grace itself lifted moses from the river banks from the place they stained for death and raised him up and brought him Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Moses became Hallelujah. He became Verse 10. And the child grew. And she brought him to Pharaoh and he became her son and he called his name Moses and he said because I drew him from the river hallelujah amen hallelujah Moses experienced the grace of God born when no other children were being killed but he was preserved by the grace of God when other children were being killed and raised Hallelujah. He was raised in the king's pharaoh. You see, they were looking for who? They were looking for Jewish children to kill. Was Moses a Jew? Yes. But they were raising a Jew in the house. Hallelujah. A Jewish man in the house. Hallelujah. Then later, he was raised as a son of, his, of Pharaoh's daughter. Then later God calls Moses to be a vessel of his grace. Hallelujah. Chapter 3. Let's go to chapter 3 as we finish. Chapter 3 of Exodus. Hallelujah. Moses now. Hallelujah. The Bible says when Moses grew up there, after many years, after many years, the calling of God to become a vessel of grace. God even when Moses was in, a, in Pharaoh's house, even when Moses was in Pharaoh's house, his mother was there. And he told him, and his mother continued telling Moses. He continued telling Moses. Moses had many questions. Moses had very many questions. He looked at himself. His mother was raising him. His mother told him, Moses, you are not an Egyptian. Moses. Hallelujah. You need to know who you are in God. You need to know who you are. Hallelujah. Raised in Egypt, but he knew who he was. Hallelujah. It is very important as you receive the grace of God to understand who you are in God. You can be in mixed multitude. You can be in foreign countries and foreign land, but you need to know who you are in God. You need to understand who you are. You are not an Egyptian. Hallelujah. The mother told him, you are not an Egyptian. The mother told him Hebrew. When they were away, the mother was teaching him Hebrew. Hallelujah. The mother told him the journey of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. The mother connected him to his God. Let me tell you, my friends, never depart from your mentor. Moses never departed from his mentor. He remained connected he remained to receive the grace of God. Let me tell you, Moses remained. Who connected him with the grace? The mother. Hallelujah. 
The mother connected him. It's the mother who made the bed. It's the mother who took the bed to the river. And the mother and the Moses remain connected to the mother to mentor him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. When, you have, when the grace of God is upon your life, you need mentorship. Hallelujah. And Moses had many, many questions. And the mother told him, mother told him, the mother told him how they came to Egypt. Moses said, how did we come here? And the mother told him, what is happening? How come our people are being oppressed? How come the Jews are being oppressed? And the mother told him the story about how they came, about Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. And how they Joseph came to Egypt. And how Joseph was great in Egypt. And how another Pharaoh came who never knew Moses, Joseph. And how he became, and how God prospered them in Egypt. And how this Pharaoh became jealousy of them. And became, he put them in slavery. Hallelujah. And the Moses understood who he was. It is very important to understand who you are in God. Many of us have received the grace of God, but we have never understood who we are in God. We have never understood. Moses was asking, why was I not killed? Why was I not killed? And the mother told him, God spared you, that you may be a deliverer. That you may be a deliverer. God spared you, that you may be a deliverer for these people. God spared you. God spared your life, Moses. I, am, I took you to the river, Moses. But it is not me who saved you. It is God who saved you, Moses. Hallelujah. It is important for you to understand where God took you from. Hallelujah. Many of us forget where the Lord took us from. We forget who we were before Christ met us. Hallelujah. But the mother told him, Moses, you were nothing. You were disdained. We put you in a basket. That basket was to save you or it was going to become your grave. But by the grace of God, you are adopted by this family. Don't tell them I'm your mother. I'm your mother in secret, but don't tell them I'm your mother. They will kill me, Moses. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. And Moses continued remain connected. And the mother told him, Hallelujah. They, you know, as Moses grew, he understood who he was. He understood where he came from. He understood why the grace of God was in his life. Have you ever asked yourself, why has the grace of God been upon your life? Why? Moses asked, why me? The mother told him, because the hand of God is upon you. Moses, you have a call of God. That's why God saved you. That's why God saved you. Because he has a call upon your life. Moses, you are going to be the deliverer of the people. Hallelujah. You're going to be the deliverer, Moses. You have a call. Moses, don't disconnect yourself from your people. These are your people. Hallelujah. The mother told him, these are your people. You see, these, these Egyptians are not your people. These Jews are your people. Hallelujah. And the Bible says one day when Moses was big. He went out in the city and there he saw he saw the new story which the mother was telling her. He saw the reality. He saw the Egyptian oppressing the Jews. He saw. And the, what the mother had told him came back. Hallelujah. He said, I'm the deliverer. Hallelujah. I'm the deliverer. Hey, Hallelujah. I know who I am. Why did he not kill the Egypt, the, 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 the Jew? He knew who he was. He knew who, who his people were. The Bible says Moses killed the Egyptian. Hallelujah. He delivered. He started executing his call. He received the grace. And he started executing it by the grace of God. When you receive the grace, you are indebted to give grace. When you receive grace, you are indebted to become a vessel of grace. To extend the grace of God. Listen to this. Moses was delivered from the river. And God 
is using Moses to extend the grace of deliverance to his brothers and sisters. Praise God. Hallelujah. What you have received from God, you must extend it to others, otherwise you shall lose it. God's grace. When we receive the grace of God, we are not entitled. We do not deserve it. We received it. That's why when I was a small young man, I could not continue sitting in a, in a big congregation and becoming a member of the church. I felt the Lord telling me, you need to go and plant churches and extend my grace to others. Other people also need to receive the grace. Moses, you are not the only one who I wanted to save. Even these Egyptians, even these Jews who are under oppression, I want to extend my grace to them. And Moses, by his own hand, by his own hand, hallelujah, by his own hand, he killed the Egyptian, by his own hand. By hey, hallelujah, praise the name of Jesus. He received the grace of deliverance and now he's extending it to other people. A day, the next day, the next day, and he hid him in the, in the, in the sad. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Why is Moses doing this? He received the grace. And he wanted to extend the grace. Hallelujah. The next day, he saw the two Jews fighting each other. Hallelujah. And he told them, you are brothers. You are brothers. You know, he, the mother, the mother had worked on him, the mother. And he knew that Jewish, we are brothers. And now he's coming as a, as a reconciler. Wanted to reconcile them together. Because of the grace he had received. The grace of reconciliation. The grace of deliverance. And the grace of reconciliation. And these people could not receive the grace. They told him you want to kill us. Like you killed the Egyptian man. And the Bible says Moses ran away. He ran away. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Tell your neighbor, don't run away from your assignment. The battle may be hard, but don't run away. Don't run away. People need your grace. Your family. Some of us, God used us to save our families. And then our family started beating us. And we ran away. And the Lord is saying, don't run away. Your family still needs that grace in your life. Your family, your people still need that grace. I've heard some people say, the moment me, hey, when I know Abba, the moment I go to America, hey, hey, Africa, nini mutanitakuta. Mambo ya Africa, mimi nimeto. Mambo ya Africa, nimetosha. Hallelujah. Siku hile taondoka nienda America. Hivo. I'll block all of you. Hallelujah. Mwana yesu asifiwe. This is what happened to this man called Moses. He was, he ran away. He ran away from the call of God. The grace was still inside him. He had received the grace. He went to the wilderness. Hallelujah. In the Midianites, he became a shepherd boy. 40 years there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me tell you the seed of God does not die. The calling of God is without repentance. God calls looking for Moses again. God calls looking for Moses again. Chapter 3, we finish. God calls looking for Moses. And now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midianite. And he led them, the flock, beside the desert. And he came to the mountain of God. Even Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared into him the frame of the fire of the midst of the bush. And he looked and beyond the bush burnt with fire. And the bush was not consumed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight. Why is a bush not burnt? And the and when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called him out of the midst of the bush. 
He said, Moses, Moses. And he said, I am. And he said, draw not near, tither, for put up your shoes from thine feet for the place whereof you stand at this holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. The Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon. Verse 7, and God said to him, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which cry by the reason of thy taskmasters, for I know their sorrow. And I have come down to deliver them out of the hands of Egyptians, and to bring them to the land, and a good land, large, the land flowing with the milk and the honey, the place of Canaanites, and the Hittites, and Hamites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Now therefore, now beyond the cry of the children of Israel is come to me. And I have also seen the oppression wherein the Egyptians oppressed them. Verse 10, come. This is yours now. This is yours. Come. This is your word. Come now. Therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. God bless his word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Becoming a vessel of God's grace. A vessel of God's grace. Hallelujah. Look at Moses. He thought it was finished, but it was finished. When the investments of God in your life was not in vain. What God invested in you was not in vain. God invested his grace in you. And God wants you to become a vessel of his grace. He comes to Moses. When Moses thought God will forgot. When Moses was there. Hallelujah. Amen. Moses, the first 40 years, he knew he was. He knew he was somebody. For the first 40 years, he knew he was. But after everything, he lost everything. Let me tell you, in life, you can also lose. You can come to a phase where you have lost yourself. Moses also lost himself. Hallelujah. But let me tell you, Moses recovered himself also. Moses recovered himself. Hallelujah. He came to the mountain of God. Hallelujah. And God showed him a, a sign. He showed him a sign. You know, for many years, many people have never understood what this bush was. But I was, I was reading here, just now the Lord has, was telling me, this, this bush was Moses himself. God was telling Moses, you thought you are going to be finished. You are not, it is not over. Hallelujah. Hey, hey, Moses saw himself in the bush. You see, Moses was finished. But the bush he was seeing was being consumed. But it was, not, it was being burned, but it was not being consumed. Moses, he saw me, I've been there. I, I, the fire of the grace of God has been there. I thought I was finished. But it, I'm not finished. Hallelujah. This is, a, this is me. He got attracted. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Lift your hands like this. The grace of God is never finished. It's not finished. It doesn't matter your age and time. It doesn't matter what has happened in the past. The grace of God is still sufficient. God is still able to use you as a vessel to carry. God showed him a vessel. This bush was a vessel that he was carrying the fire, the grace of God. Hallelujah. And God started speaking to Moses from the bush. Hallelujah. And God said to Moses something very important. Hallelujah. God said to Moses, I have seen, I have heard. One of the biggest things which keeps ringing in my heart every time is when, what does God see? What does God see? What does God see when he looks in Kenya? What does God see? When God looks in the nations of the world, what does he see? The other day, I was coming to Karen Shopping Center, and the school, this school here, the primary school, 
they were coming out, it was around four. And there were multitudes of children. Thousands of them were coming from school. Wow. And the Lord asked me, what do you see? What do you see? What do you see? Hallelujah. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? A generation. A generation. Hallelujah. A generation who are lost without God. No one has put anything. I said, Lord, I wish I can go to that school and I share with them and the, the grace of God. And God said to me, I want to extend my grace to this generation. I want to extend my grace to this generation. Hallelujah. The children generation. And let me tell you, by the grace of God, this church, this church, hallelujah, we are going to do a lot of work with the children and the youth. God using us to extend the grace of God. Hallelujah. The grace of God. The same grace. Moses, God is telling Moses the same grace which, I, which connected with you in the river. I want you to become a vessel to come to carry the same grace, Moses. I hear, I have heard, I have seen the oppression. I have heard the cry of the people. I have heard the cry of the children without fathers. I have heard the cry of the women. I have, have, I have seen. Hallelujah. Many have heard many people say, that God is very hungry with this generation. I've heard many people saying like that. That God, yani tu, yani yani pale yako tu, yele ameja asira asira kabisa. Eh, you and yani tu anashikwa mikono hivyo. Nataka kuharibu ulimwengu anashikwa. And yani, do you think like that? Do you think like that? Hallelujah. God is a gracious God. God is a merciful God. God, even in a city for generation like this, God want to extend his grace. God want to extend his mercy upon this generation. The people that are holding the hands of God is a church. That the church has refused to become the vessels of the grace of God. He said to Moses, Moses, I have seen, I have seen I have heard the cry, Moses. And now come, come, I sent you to become a vessel of deliverance. You yourself, Moses understood because he himself, he had gone through it. He had gone through it. He had gone through the grace of God and the grace of God preserved Moses. Even in the wilderness, God preserved Moses. Let me tell you, some of you, even the wilderness, God has preserved you. The grace of God. Even when Moses came from the Pharaoh's house, he came to the house of Laban. And the grace of God still kept him in the wilderness. There was no good blue band and jam like there was in the palace. But there was something to survive on. Hallelujah. The grace kept him even there. Hallelujah. For an appointed time. Tell your neighbor, the grace has kept you for an appointed time. Like this. For an appointed time like this. Hallelujah. What do I say about Esther? Who found the grace of God also. A girl who was, had no mother and father. She had only one person, an uncle, called Mordecai. But she found grace of God. And she came to the palace. And she became the queen. But she recognized, and she recognized that I'm here, I'm a product of the grace of God. Hallelujah. She never, she never said, it's my beauty and my education. It's a grace. And the Mordecai told her, it's for us such a time like this that God brought you in the palace. She received the grace that you may become a vessel of grace. May become a vessel of grace. How I pray today. The Bible says, and Moses, hallelujah. He said to God, 
I am not capable. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Moses, God almost asked Moses, were you capable when you were in the back of the river? Were you capable? When you are lying in the back of the river as a baby, were you capable? Now you are saying you are not capable to go. Were you capable that time? Hallelujah! One as if he were. What it took you out from the river was a grace. And the same grace shall take you and cause you to accomplish the work of God. Hallelujah. One else as if you were. Amen. You know, when we become older, we become more complicated. Tell your neighbor you have become very complicated nowadays. Tell him you have become very complicated. When you are younger, you are simple. But nowadays you have become very complicated. Hallelujah. Even Bishop cannot even handle. You have become so complicated. Even me, I have to handle with care. Because you are very complicated. When you are younger, I could tell you, tell you come for Kesha, you could come. But now you have become very complicated. Hallelujah. Moses, when you are a small boy and I picked you from the river. Hallelujah. You had no questions. But now, Moses, you have so many questions now. You are asking, hallelujah, was the grace of God in vain? Was the grace? Hile chakula ulikula pale za Moses. Hile fizi ulilipiwa fizi. Hallelujah, masoma ulisoma yako. Na eshima ulipata Egypti. Ilikuwa ya nini Moses? For a time like this, you receive the grace of God. That you may become a vessel of the grace of God. I pray today in the name of Jesus that you may choose to become a vessel that will carry the grace of God wherever you are. Let me tell you, wherever you are, God wants to extend his grace of salvation. The people you are with, God wants to extend the grace of salvation to them. God wants to extend his grace. God, every time, he's still asking from the book of Isaiah, whom shall I send? And who shall go for us to extend the grace of of God to the people. Hallelujah. Our life in this world is to extend the grace of God. God is gracious. And God wants to extend his grace to humanity. And God wants to use us. God wants to use Moses. God told Moses, you remember, even you, you are to be like them. But I saved you by grace. And now Moses, now, I want you to come. I use you as a vessel of grace. Hallelujah. May you choose today to become a vessel to carry the grace of God. Let me tell you, many people have never met God. But and how can they experience the grace of God except through you? God wants you to become a vessel that shall carry his grace. Shall we stand before God in the name of Jesus? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God saved us. And he has called us. God has called us. Our calling. What is the calling of God? It is to extend the grace of redemption to mankind. God, the calling of God is to bring the redemption of mankind. God is crying for his children. I don't know how many of you have got children who are lost. I don't know what you feel. I know you are crying for your children. But God is crying for his children as well. Those who are lost are his children. And God is calling on us to extend and become, to extend his grace to them. Bring redemption. Moses, you are going back. Moses, what you try to do, Moses, he told God, but God, I attempted to deliver them. God told him, you're tempted to do it by your own. But now, God, Moses, come near and encounter me. And Moses encountered God. And he left the mountain. And he received the power. And he went and accomplished the calling of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. By the grace of God, Moses went and bring redemption to the people. Four million, three million people were what is what, what, what I don't know how many people are there 
that you can be able to extend the grace of God. As we come to the place of prayer, tell God, I want to be a vessel to carry your grace. I have experienced your grace, O oh Lord. I am a product of your grace, O oh Lord. What I am and who I am is your grace, O oh Lord. Father, I pray, use me, Lord, as a vessel that shall carry your grace, O oh Lord, that I know who I am, Lord. I receive the grace that I may give it, O oh Lord. Father, I pray today in the name of Jesus, the Lord, my life in this world, I will carry the grace of God. I will carry the grace of God to humanity, to my family. Oh Lord, I will become a grace to many, Lord. Father, I pray that I will not hold back your grace, that I will give your grace to others. Have us receive the grace, oh Lord, like Moses. Lord, I will give it, Lord. Lord, you took me. Remember where the Lord took you in the side of the river where you are nobody, where you are no nothing. He took you from the side of the river. The grace of God lifted you from there and brought you to the palace and brought you the kingdom of God and made you a somebody and he made you a somebody and gave you a name and it caused you to know and it lifted you up. The grace of God. Today, you can be called somebody. You can be called as somebody. You are disdained for death. We are in prayer before God. Tell God. Speak to God. Speak to God. How many people today are dying to go to hell? Because Christians have refused to extend the grace of God to others. We have refused to extend the grace of God to others. Jesus came by the grace of God. To extend the grace of the Father to the world that was lost. How I pray today that the Lord will use you. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord, as a vessel to carry your grace, Lord. Lord, wherever I am, let me carry your grace. Let me carry the grace of God. That through me, Lord, as I found the grace, that I will pass the grace. And I will impact the grace. Let me tell you, the young children... The youth in this church, they need the grace of God. You can connect them to the grace of God. You can connect them, brother. My sister, you can connect them to the grace of God. What you have received, freely you have received, freely give the grace. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your truth, oh God. We thank you, Lord. Father, I pray that we shall follow your call. The calling of God is a call of grace. It's a call of grace. It's a call of grace. May the Lord God connect you with the call of grace. The call of grace. The call of grace in your life. That you shall pursue the call of grace. The call of grace. The call of grace. You shall not hinder. You shall not close down the call of God in your life. Hallelujah. Even as we leave the church now. And people go home. You can go to somebody in the town, in current shopping center, and extend the grace of God to them. Father, we thank you. That the God, the gracious God, the loving Father, the loving Father loves the children. He loves the children. He loves them. He loves them. He loves the Indians. He loves the Muslims. He wants to reach out to them. He still loves them. He cries out for them. He is their Father. He's a God. He's a Lord. You're looking for them. How many young people today are killing themselves? The grace of God. Father, we thank you. We worship you, Lord. We glorify your name. Lift your hands to God. Just lift your hands as we close this prayer. Tell God, I want you to pray after me. Lord, Lord, it is true. I have received your grace. I, like Moses, I was destined and I put aside. My parents did what they could do. But Lord, they put me on the side of the river. Destined for death. 
But your grace took me from there. Lifted me. Delivered me. When other children were being killed by HIV, by immorality, by alcohol, you saved my life. Your grace brought me to the palace and made me who I am today. Father, I have received your grace. I have received your grace. I am a product of your grace. And today, Lord, like Moses, I choose to be a vessel who shall carry your grace and extend your grace to others. Help me, Lord, to be a, to be a vessel that will connect many to the grace of God, the grace of salvation, the grace of provision, the grace of deliverance, the grace of reconciliation, the grace of sonship, the grace of abundance, the spiritual grace. Help me, Lord, that I will connect others to this grace. I take this as a call to fulfill it of connecting many to the grace of redemption in Jesus' name. I pray today I will not keep the grace to myself but I will give it to others because I did not deserve but I received by grace. Thank you, Lord, for loving me and connecting me to your grace. I thank you because even today, even today, the life I am living is by the grace. And the life I will live tomorrow is by your grace. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus, for the grace that you have put in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. I worship you, Lord. It is wonderful. We can do so many things. We want to worship leaders to come. We want to sing. Hallelujah. We want to sing the grace of God. I say this is a month of grace. Hallelujah. May the Lord help you to be able to carry the grace of God. When people see you, may they see grace of God. Hallelujah. Be the grace. Hallelujah. Be the grace. Carry the grace of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to sing a song. Hallelujah. I know my time is up, but uh, I think the time for song is there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In any case, it's the day of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Month of July, we shall spend more hours in the church. July is the month of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Hey, from today. From today. I am a vessel of God's grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You are ready? Amen. Let us get a good key. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm a fan. Hallelujah. I'm a fan. My job. My job. Maku. Hey, kuna maku. Kwani uyo imba ya maku ilienda wabi? Kwani muliza hawa? I'm a java maku. Hey. Hey, Steve, where will I go? I'm a java maku, isn't it? 
Can I hear it? Can you sing it, Kidogo? Shangilia Wanda, Shangilia Wanda, Shangilia Wanda, Shangilia Wanda, Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate Jesus. Abetenda maku, maku. Abetenda maku, 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 maku. Abetenda maku, abetenda maku, abetenda maku, maku. Bado, bado. Ataka kuwana watu wakimbia Yesu. Amen. Kuna kiwanja hapa kikubwa. Hey. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Ataka kuwana vijana hapa. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Hey. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Wake it up, Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Abetenda maku, maku. Abetenda maku, 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 abetenda maku. Abetenda maku, abetenda maku, abetenda maku, abetenda maku, abetenda maku, abetenda maku, maku. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate, celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Amen. Now we want to prophesy. Ushindi wa wiki na ukucha. Kuna ushindi. Amen. Kuna ushindi wa jabu. Kuna ushindi wa jabu. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi ushindi. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi. Mwambie mwenzako ushindi mwiki linakuja. Kuna ushindi ushindi. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi waja. Hallelujah. Ushindi ushindi. Hallelujah. Kuna ushindi waja. Hallelujah. Kuna baraka baraka. Kuna baraka zaja, Hallelujah. Baraka, baraka, Hallelujah. Kuna baraka zaja, Hallelujah. Oh, as final say, oh, as the final say. Monday, oh, as the final say, oh, as the final say. Tuesday, oh, as the final say. 
Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. When is day? Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. That's day. Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. Friday. Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. Saturday. Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. Sunday. Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. July. Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. Karani. Jehovah's the final say. Jehovah's the final say. Nairobi. Who was the final say? Jehovah's the final say. Callado, who was the final say? Jehovah's the final say. Kenya, who was the final say? Jehovah's the final say. Africa, who was the final say? Jehovah's the final say. Nations, who was the final say? Jehovah, the final say. Jehovah, dance my life around. Jehovah, dance my life around. Even so, we rest. Jehovah, the final say. Jehovah, dance your life around. Our life around Jehovah dance our lives around He makes our way when it's way Jehovah has the final thing Hey, yeah, hey, yeah Father who is in heaven, how loud be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Now speak the word of grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Cause your face, his face to shine upon you and give you victory. In Jesus' name, greet somebody and wish somebody a victorious week. In the name of Jesus, speak the grace, extend the grace of God to somebody. In Jesus' name, amen.